Hey Jackson, you look an extra big today. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Executioner. And if you don't know, now you know. And off here to my right is my esteemed co-host, Almanac Jack. He's on the attack. And you can't teach that. What's going on, Jack? What's going on, Executioner? And what's going on, everybody listening to another episode of Good Times? Time. That's right. This is the Good Times podcast, podcast where there's good laughs, good fun, and it's always a good time. Yeah. New shows come out every Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe. That way you can get the show to pop up on your phone without even having to look for it. Damn right. Mr. Executioner, where can they tell everybody where to find our stuff? Whew, where can they where can you tell them to find our website? All you have to do is go to our website, as I just forementioned here, uh www.thegoodtimespodcast.com where you can find our um, podcast on our all stream son of a bitch what? all streaming platforms <laughs> <laughs> including all major streaming platforms excuse me and yeah you can basically find us on there and yeah where else can they find us good old almanac well they can find us on twitter twitter uh, follow at it's good times and then also our new instagram page which is not so new it's 2 weeks old uh, <laughs> but that one's at the good times podcast com why because they wouldn't let us add the dot. God. So Damn that's it. right. Go ahead and go and follow those two. Uh, <laughs> let's try to get our Instagram up to 150 followers. Ooh. We're sitting at, I think, like 73. If if we get to 150 followers by the next podcast, b Sal will write WWE erotica for Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Let's just say there's going to be a demon somewhere. <laughs> But you just don't know where yet. No. <laughs> That's so uh, bad. Anyway, man, how you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing great, man. But you know what's funny? Um, earlier, uh, my niece actually came up to me. She said, hey, can you put the cat out? And I told her I didn't know it was on fire. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all the smokers around here, it wouldn't be... <laughs> surprising <laughs> <laughs> hey rick that's not a that's not a blunt that's a cat a oh bitch. shit it is a cat huh <laughs> no wonder that shit hit me so hard <laughs> yeah but i am actually um about a week into being or not even a week uh, a couple days being into 27 now and i will have to tell you it doesn't feel any different just like every other age oh shit i could have told you that it's been a couple months for me and <laughs> nothing's changed <laughs> Wait, i've had to spend more money i'm just kidding <laughs> maybe a fish the undertaker what about you jack how you doing <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm doing good man works good life's yeah, good yeah and it's only gonna get better mm-hmm. at least that's the way it should be right as uh executioner is sucking down some wine <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> i already it's... finished mine too bad we can't get somebody to bring it in here for us damn right we, we gotta get at our two hundred thousand likes we will finally get someone to bring us in some wine so <laughs> yeah. hit the like button <laughs> yeah please, please hit the like button <laughs> we can get some wine over here Hey, um, have you noticed that Monopoly's been, like, everywhere lately? Uh, I have not. Just the, uh, Fresnopoly. Uh, well, not that, but I mean, like, real Monopoly. Because I've seen it on billboards lately. Um, okay. I opened the Switch, uh, the eShop for, to look at what new games have come out. Monopoly's on sale there. Oh. Uh, the Lotto, the California Lottery, like, you can get Monopoly scratchers. What the? Uh, I went to go, uh, service Vaughn's today. And they've got displays of, I guess, like, if you shop there, you get certain Monopoly pieces. And really? And if you get a certain amount, you get discounts on stuff. I don't know. Huh. Um, but, yeah, dude, fucking Monopoly's, like, taking over the world or something. Dude, it, they must be trying to, like, super expand. They're trying to become, like, Amazon or Walmart and have their own store. <laughs> a Monopoly store? A Monopoly store. <laughs> dude, they got the new Monopoly guy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they've got Marvin Gardens. No way. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, man. dude. Um, I remember McDonald's used to do Monopoly for their uh, their French fries and dude. their and their uh, their sodas. Yeah, you know, it'd be the pull off piece, and you know, you could win maybe like half off your next order, or yep. buy a French fry, get another one free, something like that. I remember they used to do that, but now they're fucking everywhere, dude. That's crazy. But you know what? That's kind of nostalgic because 
that was awesome, dude. I, I had so much fun going to McDonald's all the time. Oh, what piece did you get? Oh, what piece did you get? You want to trade? I'll trade you uh, this one for that one. Like, <laughs> it's almost like real Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like, dude, I just got a Park Place. No way. <laughs> well, I got Venter. I'll trade you Venter for Park Place. No way, dude. No way. Park Place is way too much for that. Okay, okay. How about this? I'll give you Oriental, Venter, and Kentucky for your Park Place and a railroad. All right, you got a deal. <laughs> dude, I wonder if there's people going around like giving money like, hey, man, do you have uh, this one? Oh, yeah, I just got it right now. Dude, I'll give you like $20 for that piece. <laughs> no, it's the last piece I need. But okay, I'll give you 50 <laughs> Give me half of your winnings, bitch. <laughs> but I want that quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just buy you one. For twenty-five percent off? Yes. Did you ever did you ever play that Fres Fres uh Fresnopoly or Fres Monopoly or whatever it's called? No, I did not. Um the only one that I've played recently is the Fortnite Monopoly. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, my niece got it and it's it's awesome. What are what are the pieces? The, um, the the character little guys. Well, uh there's dude, there's a bunch of them. There's literally I believe there's like thirty Damn. different characters and like just basically every character you can almost think of. Are they all skins and, or what? In the fir- yeah, in the first, I would say three or four seasons. I would say three seasons. Is there a chug jug? Yes. Yes, that's yes. what I would be. Yeah. So basically, no, no, no. Now there's not a chug jug piece. Aww. So here's the thing: like, um, everybody. So so money is these little circle pluses for health, and oh, okay. everybody gets 17 health at the very beginning. Huh. And you use this, you use these health as basically your money. So if you land on like. I don't know, Tilted Towers, you pay four or something like that. And it's kind of weird, but honestly, I I enjoyed it. And uh, the way you get the Chug Jug is uh, like the the chest cards and whatnot. So if you're running chest. Yeah, yeah. So if you're running low on health, you know, you can just fill it all the way back and get back to that 17. So cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you'd probably lose more than four health at Tilted Towers. You probably just die. (laughs) Oh, man, that's automatic death. For real. There's just a skull right there. <laughs> I know. That should be like instant like 99 because you know you're getting sniped by somebody. Oh, or, hell yeah. Or there's going to be a random trap somewhere and just totally kill you. But you know what's funny is that, oh, man, I never even thought of that. Like, what if we did the game but made it 100 health? That would be ridiculous, dude. So it's not 100 health? What is it? It's 17. That's the most you can have? Yeah. What the yeah, hell? according to the rules. That's weak. Well, I mean, everything's kind of just valued around that. You can shoot people. You can put up walls and stuff. It's pretty weird. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised they haven't made like a Fortnite movie yet. That's true. That's true. I didn't think about that. I've thought of it. You know, like uh, it's real people and they say like, it's, oh, it's a game or whatever like that. But it's really not a game, you know? <laughs> <They're> <laughs> or really I mean, dying. they could do it the other way where it's kind of like, uh, oh, what was that movie that came out? Uh, Ready Player One where, you know, everybody enters into the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they can make it like that, I guess. That would be awesome to have like Ready Player One. Uh, part two, but with Fortnite shit, where everybody jumps into battle royales and stuff like that. Yeah, and then they have like a super one or like the championship one when you when you die in the in the uh, battle royale, you die in real life or something. Yeah, that could be uh, what do you call it, like Team Rumble or something like that. Yeah, that would be oh, that would be crazy as fuck, That'd be dude. Dope. Uh, but back to Monopoly though. <laughs> uh, did you know that I'm undefeated for over ten years? Are you really uh, against? Um, couple buddies of mine oh and the uh <laughs> the trilogy crew yeah <laughs> yeah shout out to the trilogy crew out there yeah and we even played a game over there uh in san diego when we went for a uh, certain guy's uh bachelor party okay so we played drunken monopoly Ooh. for one of the nights and i still won <laughs> and i still won you know what man but that's not fair because you drunk is basically sober cell so yeah it takes a while <laughs> if we would have done it the night after that though I probably wouldn't have won. <laughs> I you probably would have, would have given up all my money for that quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, okay, so while we're on the subject of, of um, like fast food with a quarter pounder cheese. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question and wait till I get everything out okay. uh, in this little paragraph that I wrote. Jackal. Jackal. It's a jackal. Oh, I'm, wait, we haven't started. It is. Sorry. It's jack all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's the difference? Between sauce and dressing. Salad dressing, barbecue sauce. Okay? Uh, because salad dressing, what do you think of? You think of ranch, right? Okay. And, you know, you just pour it over your salad. Yeah. Okay? But, but. barbecue sauce 
It's the same thing, just over meat. Okay. Okay. And but if you were to get both of those, put them into a souffle cup, and serve them with something other than a salad or barbecue, so, uh, uh, you know, like a like ribs or something, rib tips. Okay. It becomes a dip. What? You give okay. Go to Buffalo Wild Wings. You get the wings, right? You get ranch in a souffle <laughs> cup, and they say, "Oh, what do you want? Celery or carrots?" That ranch automatically becomes a dip, not a dressing. Oh, because you're dipping, you're dipping it in. You're not that dressing shit in. Them. Okay? okay, same thing with the barbecue. If you go to Famous Dave's, okay, and you get rib tips or chicken tenders, dick tips, and instead of you know pouring the barbecue sauce onto the rib tips or chicken tenders, okay, you put that shit in a pile or in a souffle cup and you dip it. Okay, <laughs> so here's the thing now though, what does that make ketchup and mustard? Because ketchup <laughs> is even worse. Because ketchup gets poured on the french fries. Ketchup gets put into souffle cups. Ketchup gets put on a fucking hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then same thing with mustard. Because if he ordered pretzels, you know, sometimes you can get mustard dips. You put it on a hot dog. You put it on a hamburger. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. Am I the only one that's ever thought of this? <laughs> I would have to say... <laughs> Yes. An okay. astounding yes. <laughs> but here's the thing, though, okay? Janet and I went to Carl's Jr., and the guy asked me, oh, do you want any sauce for your fries? And I was like, what? Sauce for my fries? They got no new French fries yet? Because I remember McDonald's had that for a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. So I thought to myself, what the hell is he talking about? And I was just like, yeah, uh, I'll take some ketchup. <laughs> okay. And he meant ketchup. What? So does that make cat? What is ketchup? Is it a sauce? Is it a dip? Is it- obviously it's a condiment. I mean, I have I literally have zero I- clue or idea. I got nothing because it- it's a sip. Okay, but just just think of it this way. Okay, you got a bottle of whatever, whether it be a barbecue sauce, whether it be a dressing. Okay, a bottle of c- some kind of condiment. Okay. When you pour it onto oh, the food, pour it on. That's sauce. Okay. When you put it, sauce. In, when you dump it in a pile or in a souffle cup, that's a dip. Okay. But if you pour it over lettuce, it becomes a dressing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh! This is a this is a another classic case of of stuff becoming stuff when it's just. Put into a different container. You know what? This is a classic case of the English language r- basically ruining everything. <laughs> well, that too, but <laughs> <laughs> this is almost like skid, basically. Skid. The, the different versions of skid. <laughs> oh, good old skids. We had an we had another thing like that too, didn't we? Um, uh, it was. I thought it was skid. Oh, I know what it was. Juice and jice. Jice. That's Here we go. Right. That's All right, folks, right. get ready to be entertained. Good old jices. Okay, juice. <laughs> juice is uh the liquid, okay? Orange mm-hmm. juice. Okay. Orange it was juice. squeezed from something. It was squeezed. S squeezed. <clears throat> okay. Jice is stuff you put into to uh a juice. <laughs> okay? So like a Kool-Aid because you're putting the powder in there. Okay? Mm-hmm. You pour the powder in there, it becomes a juice. But the thing that you pour into the liquid is the juice. Okay? Right, right. But we had this thing we had this aloe stuff, okay, from Herbalife, and it's a juice already. It's already pre-made. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you can pour that into your tea, so that juice becomes a jice. Right. So, so I guess this is another case. I need to come up with a name of con- uh, <laughs> for the ketchup and all the sauces and just shit. Just call, uh, call it a jip. A what? A jip. A jip. <laughs> Oh, that's all I can think of. Go to Famous Davis. Hey, man, can you give me a jip? Can I get a jip, please? So, juices, jices, dressings, dips, and jips. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I guess we've lost control. Oh, anyway, my God. <clears throat> it's just me thinking too hard about I got, stuff, I guess. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, well, what do you got next for the show? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, obviously, you were talking. we were just talking about the uh, dressing dricings and juices and jicings and all that good stuff and how the English language has destroyed a bunch of words 
yep. and their meanings. So, as I said last week on last week's podcast, excuse me, we uh, used the word toilet as <laughs> a preface to what the game was going to be this week, where I will read you some words that have a different meaning uh, now than they did before. And what you'll have to do is guess their new meanings. Okay, cool. Yeah, so old words, new meanings, and I'm going to burp real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I didn't want to burp in the middle of my sentence. It's just, all right, old words, new. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like fucking Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that sauce, Morty. <laughs> Damn it, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. a little bitch, Morty. All, all right. right. So- Anytime you're ready. We're going to kick this off. The first word is bully. Bully? Bully. So we uh, hope you like, never, like a school bully? Yeah. So we hope you've never been the victim of a bully. Nope. <laughs> but obviously we know what bully is. Somebody who's just a little bit too headstrong and likes to get way, get their way, push people over. Yeah. So. Take your lunch money. <laughs> so that actually is far back as the 15 hundreds oh, wow. was not the actual meaning can you almanac jack give me the old meaning of bully well uh seeing dun, as how dun, my dun, uh, dun, dun, almanac dun. jackness my almanac uh, doesn't <laughs> pertain to uh original words this okay. is gonna be kind of fun which is kind of funny because uh, jen and i went to a uh a, <laughs> a farmer's market at manchester and uh something about the parking lot whatever and uh she's like well What's wrong? I thought you'd know. You're almanac jack. And I was like, my almanac doesn't pertain to parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just anyway. I just have the um, parking lot historian in my head as this, yeah. this moment. Let me go pick up the new uh, parking lot encyclopedia. <laughs> the parking lot insider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so bully. Bully. Um, bully Ray Dudley. I remember seeing an episode of Family Guy where they do something it's the the old weightlifter guys okay and uh they're like yeah let's let's celebrate them bully 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 so like that's all i got so that's maybe what like an exciting kind of word or something like that like a hip hip hooray okay okay so that's that's pretty close so uh basically we're just gonna both put it out here uh you'd never describe your tormentor as excellent a jovial sweetheart am i right sure uh so by surprisingly bully carried these cheerful meanings as far back as 1500s bully was even used as a cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> Good old a cinnamon c- challenge son of a cinnamon uh, <laughs> a synonym for lover huh somewhere in the 1600s the fine fellow lost his charm and became a <laughs> harasser of the weak and the identity crisis gets messier in the 1700s when bully also meant protector of a prostitute. <laughs> oh, shit, a pimp. <laughs> so basically all you uh, bully pimps out there, yeah, y'all, y'all doing the jovial sweetheart shit. You know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me that Bully Ray is Pimp Ray? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that would not surprise me one bit. He's from New York, so yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it would not surprise me one bit. <laughs> all right, word number two. So I was kind of close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, my bad. So I will give you a uh, bully point. Okay. <laughs> I'll one take a bully point. I'll take a pimp point. Yeah, give, give yourself a pimp point. <laughs> one pimp point for uh for the almanac jack here. All right. Now we'll go with number two, which is the word clue. 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 Well, I have watched a lot of blues clues, <laughs> so I can spot a clue from a mile away. So obviously we've we've you know seen clues in like scavenger hunts and board games and all that. Yeah. Obviously talking about, you know, giving somebody, I guess, a little bit of a foreshadow, if you want to see it that way. Of what, what a five it, shadow. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a five shadow. Son of a bitch. Just, just get it before I start dying over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, my knowledge of clues also extend to uh, all Scooby-Doo episodes I've watched. <laughs> Seeing as how Shaggy or Scooby end up tripping over said clue and uh, Velma finds it. Uh, I will say the original meaning for clue is a board game. No, it is not. Oh. So, as we said, um, original clue was, you know, hints in a scavenger hunt. And also we had the 1985 classic film 
uh, Tim Curry called Clue as well uh, for the board game or whatever. Uh, but Clue actually used to mean a ball of yarn. Huh? The, the thread interweaving <laughs> our modern understanding of Clue with its ancestor Clue. Clue wins, excuse me. That This would be C-L-E-W. Back to, yep. The 19, or sorry, the 1500s, the 1500s, sorry, um, <laughs> when its meaning in Old English was Lex, less exciting than was, it is. Was Lex Luger. <laughs> Lex Luger. Good old Lexi. Good old sexy Lexi. <laughs> so total that, package. that is not a pimp point for you. Damn. And we'll move on to so I'm the- only half a pimp. <laughs> so we'll move on to the third question here, or the third, uh, excuse me. Fucking word. Okay. <laughs> think of the damn thing. I know what you word. mean. All right, here we go. It is cute. Cute. Yes, the cuddly, squishy, ooshy wooshiness associated with cute today wouldn't have been understood in the 1700s. Ah, what is it? Oh, well, when you said that, when you said that, uh, gooshy ooshy or whatever, that reminded me of, uh, Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy's writing a love note. To uh, Trixie Tang. Okay, Trixie. And uh, he's like, man, I really need something to finish this off. <laughs> and so his parents come barging in saying, uh, Timmy, uh, I'm both respecting your privacy, but by uh, asserting my dominance as your father by coming in anyway, <laughs> they barge in through the door. And then oh uh, the God. mom comes in and she's like, oh, you're you're writing a threat mantic <laughs> love letter. <laughs> so then uh, they end up ending it with... Uh, Ooey ooey gooey goo. And he's like, oh, I would never say that. <laughs> so the word cute, I would say, is probably like the exact opposite. And I'm going to say maybe like a, a weapon or something like that. Oh, shit. All right. That is not correct. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> we got my hopes up. <laughs> Sorry about that. You lose a pinpoint. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, once again, we obviously talked about cuddly, squishy, ooshy, wooshiness associated with cute. However, however, the word cute three centuries ago was shortened from acute. Acute. Like the angle? Yes. Oh, okay. And thus, thus, because I have to say thus since it reads it right here and sounds smart, something that was cute was clever or keen. Oh. So, like the angle. A cute angle. It was sharp. So huh. that's basically what it meant. It was you were a sharp type of person. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. At least it's not that far off. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So <laughs> this next one is actually pretty, like, really funny. It's going to kind of blow your mind. All right. So <laughs> it reads here, plug your nose. Here it goes. The word is <laughs> defecate. <laughs> Defecate. Yes, defecate. Well, with my modern knowing of uh, that meaning shit. <laughs> or to take a shit. An S hit. <laughs> this one's got to, if it's mind blowing, this one's got to be totally opposite of what it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know, spend money? No. Like, man, I'm not. about to go defecate at the mall later. You want to go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so defecate. Used to mean to cleanse or purify. Makes no sense, right? It starts to become clear when you look at where this word comes from. The Latin phrase defausse, which sounds French. Because which, I'll say, which sounds totally French. <laughs> which means from dregs. In this sense, feces describes any kind of sediment. You defecate your coffee feces in the trash <laughs> you actually taste wine feces or lease when you drink a complex full-bodied glass of chardonnay so we were just oh, sure. drinking we, some feces earlier we, yeah that's grape feces <laughs> yeah, yeah. pink feces and we've had All defecate right. in the gutter for far too long especially when we learned that its poopy sense was not even used up until the 1800s in history of time and defecation, that's really recent. Wow, that reminds me of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. This robot comes back from the future, and he's like, 
thousands of years ago where there was much defecation. <laughs> He was right all along. There's okay. defecation everywhere. So you read me a tweet earlier. Oh, yeah. that that okay. So we're um, while you're pulling that up, um, we were sitting here just kind of talking randomly, and he Almanac Jack, that is, actually had somebody randomly Bro-nams, like bro. one of his old tweets, and is, is that right? R- r- like somebody just randomly. Uh, liked one of your tweets and you just pulled up some other oh, ones? Oh, yeah, or? they liked a, a tweet of mine from 2012. Yeah, 2012. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Ridiculous. And this guy's weird, so if you're listening to the podcast, shout out to your you're weird. Um, yeah, but, I mean, go follow the show, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that tweet that you brought up to me? Well, this one that he retweeted was many men have had their salads tossed by a man, but very few by a manatee. <laughs> oh um, my god that was funny there's a guy listening right now probably somewhere and it's like I bet you that manatee could toss a good salad <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't the tweet huh? uh, that that was the tweet that the person liked what oh, about the you want me to read tweet? the other one the other tweet yes oh okay because this is going to go good with what we're going to talk about here okay uh, this other one was if the jackal got his own holiday <laughs> it'd be jack all day <laughs> And you jack all day. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us into our next word of old words, new meanings. Ejaculate. <laughs> ejaculate. So the modern day meaning of See, ejaculate um, <laughs> has been around since the 1570s and was shortly followed by a second meaning. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Well, so what was the first meaning? Or is that what I'm guessing? That's that's basically what you're going to be oh. guessing. At this oh, point. so the second meaning is what it is now. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. It is the second meaning what it is now. Which I, thought is you, the, I, thought, uh, I thought you meant it had like two meanings before what it is now. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> Ejaculate. Oh, my God. Uh, well, there's an E in there, so that obviously means it's online. Uh, Jack <laughs> could either be... Almanac Jack. A, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or it could be uh, that damn Jack from a beanstalk. Oh, there we go. Fuck that guy. And late uh, is you to work. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm going to say ejaculate is somebody being late to work. (laughs) That would be funny. Oh, my God. So ejaculate, once again, was shortly followed um, by by a second meaning, which was to exclaim suddenly which which is basically what it was at the time as i said curiously despite the apparent coexistence of these meanings over time the second meaning for ejaculate was perfectly acceptable in day-to-day conversation of conservative 1800 society that certainly changed well <laughs> ejaculate still means to exclaim <laughs> excitedly i guess that makes a total sense as to where it came from (laughs) because i mean if if it's in the old days he'd be like hey you know and that's an ejaculate i guess right right but then even nowadays if somebody goes hey (laughs) in a certain way it's the same thing so it doesn't really change that much yep 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 so i mean maybe that hey maybe that hey turned into a oh hey hey." (laughs) yeah so but that's pretty funny though when you think about it you're all like hey man did you see the Dodgers ejaculate all over the Giants? Hell yeah, man. They came all over them. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. That's 2017. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Geez. So you currently you're at one pinpoint out of five tries. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next word is going to be facetious. Facetious. Facetious has done a complete 180 over the years. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god just, just go ahead <laughs> just, oh my god oh my god facetious well i know it's a uh tongue twister this is the tongue twister it's the mr tongue twister as mr tongue twister would because say a lot of people say sufficious sufficious <laughs> oh my god uh oh facetious <laughs> i'm gonna say that it's going to be, like, taking stuff, like, way too seriously. 
Mm. Because now it means like, uh, like when you're being like inappropriate or something, right? Right. So I mean, not yeah, in a sense, or like like making jokes at a wrong time. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. so basically, you know, just not to be meant to taken serious. You know, say something facetiously, and you're just kind of like, bah. Yeah. Whatever. So I'll say it's maybe like a like a doctor is taking like shit too seriously or something. <laughs> actually, I've got to cut this leg off. <laughs> It actually uh, used to mean elegant. Oh, okay. yeah. What what once meant elegant, refined, elegant, uh, <laughs> and courteous. Now it means to Ste- make light of a serious <laughs> issue. Stephen courteous? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, what was once meant elegant and refined, as well as courteous, is now <laughs> means to make light of serious issues in a humorous sarcastic and frivolous way it's basically impossible to share both of these characteristics at once until you're a fraser crane <laughs> <laughs> good old fraser which is true because he he totally uh walked the blurred the lines of facetious he sure did <laughs> and he had good hair yep all right so we got a few more words to go still at one pinpoint half a pinpoint yeah sorry about that <laughs> so the next one is flirt Flirt. Yes, you know how sometimes all it takes is one I-5 at a bar. You know, when eyes meet, just roll with it. For someone to think you're flirting? <laughs> it also yeah. takes a, a loud mob of people walking by our door. Uh, is that what just happened? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Big gaggle of people. Gaggle? Uh, Flirt. Well, now it means like, yo, what's up, girl? Hi, baby. How you doing? <laughs> hey, bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the guy from your work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, maybe that's his flirting. Hey, bitch. <laughs> oh, have you seen the Rick and Marty with Scary Terry? Oh my. Where he says god. bitch after everything. Yes, dude. Scary Terry was so fucking. Hilarious. Oh, what's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> or, or like when they gave him something, he's like, "Aw, bitch." <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say flirt was a mixture of flint and dirt. <laughs> Flint and dirt. Yeah. That's actually really not close. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> this is pretty funny. So, unfortunately, that's a fairly frequent scenario as we were talking about the flirting from before. What, flint and dirt? The uh, I fiving people at bars, apparently. Um, <laughs> and if the archaic meaning of flirt had any oomph now, the person who shall be clue- remain clueless would know to head the other way. In the 1500s, yeah. again, flirting meant to turn up one's nose at a sneer or a sneer at, um, or to flick with the fingers. To flick with the dick. <laughs> so if you were, if I were to be flirting with somebody, somebody would come up to me and say, "Hey, man, I really like your podcast," and I would just say, "Huh, yeah, right," and then walk away as I flirted with them. Yeah, and then you watch them as they as they. Play with flint and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So here we go with another one. Okay. <laughs> the word is guy. 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 G-U-Y. G-U-Y guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that's what it is, boy. <laughs> a guy. Uh... I'm going to say it was meant because the word gay and it's a gay dude and they just shortened it to a guy. <laughs> and eventually they just kind of use it for everybody because everybody was gay at the time. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So what it says here is, uh, okay, so it's had a long journey. First, it was a rope or a chain, <laughs> then a proper noun, and finally a way of addressing a group of anyone, really. Guy became a proper noun thanks to Guy Fox. I'm serious. Guy He's Fierce. a guy that Fox, um, a plotter in the failed assassination attempt of King James the First in 1605. Guy's face has since become a symbol of protest against tyranny, thanks in large part to illustrator David Lloyd's caricature mask designed for the V for Vendetta in Viagna. And the word <laughs> Guy eventually described as a grotesquely or poorly dressed person in the early 1800s Britain, and it didn't achieve its informal status as fellow in American English until the 1840s. 
So you mean to tell me that the guy who tried to kill King James is the same mask as V for Vendetta? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it huh. looks like. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Hey, what do you think they tried to kill people with back in the 16th century? Because, oh, I mean, man. you couldn't, like, you know, shoot them. I mean, honestly... Bow and arrow, maybe? I, I have my theories about what it was like back then. Random tomahawk? But, but just to go with uh, current learning, I would say rock. <laughs> oh, rock. <laughs> because that is what current learning tells poison? us. Huh? Mm, Could have been poison. Poison? What well, actually, t- if it was poison, it probably would have worked, so... <laughs> they just uh, crushed up a bunch of mushrooms growing up the dr- ground and just put them in a drink? <laughs> yeah, they got some of that flint and dirt and just threw it in his... <laughs> some of that guy. Threw it in his wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, the word guy just used to mean uh, grotesquely uh, or poorly dressed person, which is basically the same thing today. If you're a guy, then you're yeah. probably dressed like shit. Or, <laughs> or uh, assassination attempter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which was the second word. Failed assassination attempter. <laughs> okay, so this next one... <laughs> this next one is the word hussy. <laughs> hussy. Hussy. What a hussy. Well, a hussy is a hoe. <laughs> and considering we're playing for pimp points, <laughs> this couldn't come at a better time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Hussy. Not to be confused with the husky, which is a dog. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of which way I'm leaning here. Oh my god! Considering how they also use the word "bitch," <laughs> <laughs> "bitch," "hussy," "husky," "dog," I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. It's got some kind of dog meaning. Dog meaning. Okay. So long ago, "hussy" was merely a synonym for housewife or mistress of the household. Which uh, the <laughs> old English word for house is "hus." Oh, did you just say "hoose"? Hoose. Well, same thing. <laughs> Hoose and hoof, uh, originally pronounced a hoof hussy a or hoozy, little hoozy <laughs> vert, it gradually came to embrace all women and girls. But, like every other word, by the 1650s, hussy acquired negative connotations signifying a female who behaved improperly. <laughs> and then it says, by whose standards? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. By the 1700s, hussy. Hussies, excuse me, were lewd, immoral, mischievous, and promiscuous women. Huh. Promiscuous girl. That or, song came on yesterday. Uh, <laughs> hadn't heard it in a while. <laughs> and it was still good. <laughs> All right. So we got, uh, let me see here. I think we got two more words. Three okay. more words. Okay. So we got three more words. We're going to run kind of through them. Yeah, I got to get at least another half pinpoint. And true that. So the first word, or this next word, excuse me, not the first one. Oh, we're at number one. We're starting <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> so, <laughs> the next word is pretty. 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 Okay. Uh, pretty means to look nice. Okay. Uh,. I'm going to say, considering all of these have kind of had meanings going back to, like, 15th century or some (laughs) bullshit, they were weird. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to say pretty was when they weren't full of dirt. (laughs) Okay. So maybe, like, when they took a bath. All right. So pretty started out in Old English as pretig. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, Meaning tricky. Crafty or wily coyote. Then in the 1300s, <laughs> Pretty grew a full beard and bounded through fire oh, to save damsels in distress. This manly, gallant sense of gra- sense gradually gave by the 1400s to a more familiar, attractive, and beautiful in a slight way is what Pretty means, basically, and what it used to mean and whatnot. That's something I wouldn't have even thought of. <laughs> okay. So this last word. Actually, I'm going to save this one for the last one. Okay. This this next word. Second to last word. The next one is hoos. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's hoof. It's the word brave. Brave. Yes. Okay. So obviously brave is a pretty positive trait. Yeah. It's obviously. also a uh, team in Atlanta. <laughs> the Atlanta Braves. These are the Braves. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Shout out to Curtis Blow. Um, <laughs> brave. Well, it means, yeah, it means, you know, like, 
courageous now. Uh-huh. Uh Well, shoot, with the Braves, I mean, that's an Indian, right? So I'm going to say it's got something to do with Indians or something or indigenous people. Okay. So in the 1500s, here we are again. <laughs> being brave wasn't a positive trait. It actually meant you were boastful. It's not a stretch to see the connection between bravery and boasting. Think of those plucky people centuries on who still like to want to crow about their courage. What the fuck? Uh, anyways, the link I've becomes... I've never crowed about anything. <laughs> I don't even like crows. <laughs> the link <laughs> becomes even clearer <laughs> when we see the brave in bravado oh. or the pompous display of valiance. Uh -huh. We might do well to heed our medieval Latin elders, who are yeah. bitches, bitches, whose bravo meant wild, savage, and bravus, cutthroat villain, when we describe a person or act as a brave. There's a fine line between courage, <laughs> courageousness, uh, courage and recklessness. There sure is. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking brave bullshit. Yeah. Now, the final word. Okay, I gotta get this one. This one is going to be hilarious. Um, the word is... <laughs> so I think that's Benji just sneezing out there. <laughs> um, the next word is the word slut. S slut. You slut. Oh, geez. And we're playing for pit points. <laughs> this is great. Not to mention the word hussy was in there. Uh huh. Uh, and ejaculate. I have a feeling these are all coming together now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> as soon as a as soon as a hussy takes in the ejaculate, she's a slut. Uh, not to mention Bully Ray, who is now Pimp Ray. Pimp Ray, good old Pimp Ray. Shout out to Pimp Ray. Slut. I'm Sweet. gonna say it has something to do with uh. Somebody being dirty, like dirt dirty, like, you know, smelly and shit like that. Okay, okay. So. And then it just eventually turned into <laughs> sex walkers. <laughs> <laughs> sex walkers. <laughs> An offensive term bloated with meaning, slut, made its first appearance on paper in 1402, referred to as untidy and slovenly. Habits or appearance. Holy shit, I was right. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, of course, the term was usually applied to a woman, often a servant, but I uh, don't know what that says. Was at least one author who used sluttish to describe a man's appearance when, uh, when, when, uh, what? We knew that we liked that guy. Okay. At least as early yeah, as. Yeah, we like that slut. <laughs> we like that bot. <laughs> At least as early as the 1660s, slut also referred to a rag dipped in lard and burned as a light or slut lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find them slut lamps somewhere. Oh my god, wasn't that Randy Orton's, Randy Orton's song? <laughs> what? <laughs> like burn in the light? <laughs> oh, hey, we should go to, uh, I was gonna say we should go to Orchard, but they're dead. Oh uh, my god. We should go to like, Home Depot. Hey, you got any slut lamps around here? <laughs> Oh my God! So, on I mean, it, it ends it off with as far as we're concerned, the word isn't done revolving. <laughs> or sorry, evolving, evolving. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty even... sure it's gone as far as it's gonna go. Oh my God, dude! So I got that one right. Yes, you did. So you have earned yourself two pimp points. Actually, it's one and a half, but I'll take oh, that too. Okay, okay. Sorry, you're the uh, one keeping track. Apparently, I know my sluts. <laughs> <laughs> Good old sluts everywhere. That's cool, though. Did you know there's slots in Vegas? <laughs> there's going to be so many slots, you won't know what to do with them. You don't know what to do with them. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break here. Uh, and on the other side of the break, we're going to talk about summer movie preview. Yeah. So we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Doris. And this is the daunting diaries of Doris. Ah oh, yes, I still remember the day like it was yesterday. I had two hot dogs and a plat load 
of potato salad. Grandma, that was yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. Yeah. Oh, man. My old mind is just going crazy. You had a story you were going to tell us? Well, from what I remember, I stuck both of those hot dogs into my no, mouth and- No, no, Grandma, stop, stop, stop. Oh, sorry. You were talking about the lamp. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Yes, of course. The lamp. Well, well, actually, one thing about those hot Grandma, dogs- Grandma, we only okay. have a couple oh, seconds. I'm sorry. Uh, how long do we have? Two seconds. Okay, so Son there was a- Bob. If you'd like to advertise a product or idea of yours here on the show, shoot us an email to goodtimespodcastgtp at gmail.com. We'd love to work with you and grow both of our brands. And we're back. Back here on the Good Times Podcast. I hope you enjoyed that break. Yeah. Because I know uh, Executioner did because he's editing it. Yeah. All right, so uh, what we got here is the summer movie preview. Yes. Everybody uh, likes to escape from the heat the that heat. is the summer once. So uh, what better way to do that than going into a nice air-conditioned movie theater mm -hmm. full of people breathing hot air and then you getting hot all over again. Damn right. Because you're sitting on a leather chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so what we're going to do here is go through a couple movie months and uh, we're going to give our opinions on a few of the movies. Yep, we're going to be uh, reviewing 50 movies, so this will take three days. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which is about how long it would take to watch 50 movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming out April 19th, uh, we have The Curse of La Llorona. Oh, yeah. I saw the preview for that when I went to go see uh, Pet Cemetery. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think so far? Honestly, I laughed. I, I fucking laughed a little bit because, obviously... La Llorona is a, is a bit of a Mexican thing, but uh, the people in the movie are, are just a white family, so <laughs> just, it just kind of... They kinda, are? Yeah, it's a white family. Oh, I knew Hollywood would try to whitewash this somehow. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I thought it was more so funny because I could honestly see that happening where... Because it's, al it's always like a white family that just gets like fucking destroyed by a demon or something like that. It's That's never true. like... Never a Mexican family. <laughs> because we know better. <laughs> <laughs> we start pulling out the sage just doing that bruja shit man that bruja <laughs> that's true no I think it's funny though whenever I see a commercial for it cause the guy will be like the curse of La Llorona <laughs> like he'd say Halla White I'm yeah like, Geez. no yeah. I, I think it's kind of funny Llorona. because I mean you hear the story coming up all the time when you're a kid yeah and all of a sudden, there's a movie about it. Yeah. Soon enough, they'll be making a movie about the Chupacabra and the Kukui. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you named them both, right? <laughs> yep. All right, uh, next one, April 26th. This is the one that uh, everybody's going to go see. Avengers Endgame. Oh, yeah. And so, basically, if nobody has seen any of the re other ones, here's, here's a little preview. It's not a real preview. Don't turn it off. Um, spoiler alert! <laughs> it's not. It's not a real spoiler alert either. Oh. Um, Captain America at my work. actually sees Loki, who Loki then sees Hulk Hogan, who then sees the Big Show, but then resurrects um, Andre the Giant, who then destroys Thanos by pulling. I don't know. I got nothing. I was just <laughs> by pulling the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, from the Money in the Bank briefcase, which was <laughs> hanging from the building the whole time. It turns out it was a six-way ladder match. It was. It was indeed. Run-ins included Iron Man, Captain America, and not to mention that Johnson. dastardly, dastardly Ultron. He came back for some reason. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And all, also, Goldar was there. I don't know why, but he was So was Buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> No, that's going to be really good, though. It's, it's going to be really good. I, honestly, I think it's probably the only movie that anybody's really excited for. I'd agree. Um, because the hype for that overshadows basically everything. Dude, so when I went to see the, the previous one, I was in the movie theater. I went, to, I went by myself because, for one, okay, so it was a Friday night, and I'm chilling at home. It's actually the, uh, the night before I went to the hospital. Dick in hand. <laughs> um, it was, it was, uh, I said it was a Friday, but I think it was a Thursday. So, dick in hand. Dick in hand. <laughs> um, I, I was downstairs just chilling on the <laughs> my sofa with dick in hand. 
<laughs> so I'm looking through my phone. <laughs> <laughs> looking through my phone and everyone's like oh just seen the new uh avengers and blah, blah blah and i was like oh shit it just came out oh shit i gotta watch it right now yeah that's literally what my thought was i'm not calling anybody i'm just going mm-hmm. i live right across the street from a fucking movie theater i'm on my way yeah so this is the time too when we had the uh movie pass oh movie pass. yeah good old movie pass so i i jam on over there piece. freaking run over there uh buy my ticket and so I'm in the I'm in the theater and I'm thinking, you know, once once he, you know, does his thing and, you know, everybody does the little dust thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to give out too many things. Uh, if they it, haven't seen it by now, that's their fault. <laughs> I, I don't do this whole spoiler alert shit. Well, yes, you do. You deal with it. at. Well, work. I do it at work, but that's a different kind. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so after after all the dust shit happened, I was just thinking, OK, so they're just going to come back and do the thing. Right. Then the movie just ends. And I was like holy shit a movie that ended off with a heel i absolutely loved it everybody came out they're crying like i can't believe that just happened i'm like dude that was fucking awesome (laughs) and how did you come out with dick in hand (laughs) (laughs) oh my goodness oh yeah no dude uh i remember when i went to go see that there was this lady sitting behind me uh with her daughter and her daughter the whole time was just like I hate this movie. I hate this movie because <laughs> everybody's dying, and oh, she's yeah. like, just she's just so upset that fucking Thanos is actually winning this shit. And I thought it was great. It was awesome. It was fucking awesome. Uh, I got something to tell you off the show uh, about your little board there. Oh, my God. Um, okay. I'm drawing on my board, dick in hand. <laughs> uh, May tenth. This is gonna be cool. I I, I forgot all about this movie. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Ooh. I forgot all about this movie. So when this when this first preview came out, um, somebody posted it on Twitter and they were like, Oh my god, Pikachu, he's talking. Uh, you know, they're all pissed off. So I'm like, What? Are you fucking serious? Like, I'm pissed off too. Go and watch the thing, and it's like uh Pikachu starts talking, and I'm like, Oh, this is stupid. You mean they a cartoon fucking- one? Huh? The the cartoon movie? No, 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 no. The this movie. Oh, because there was a a, a cartoon version, like oh, anime version that came out like a couple years ago, though. That wasn't. It was maybe last year, sometime. Maybe two years. That um, one was funny. But yeah, they released that one, and and Pikachu is like, "Go ahead, go without me, Ash." And everybody's like, "What the <laughs> fuck? Pikachu's talking? This is bullshit." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that was my initial thought, and then it's like. Uh, Pikachu, played by Ryan Reynolds, and I was yeah. like, "What? Oh, this is gonna be awesome!" And then they showed some more, uh, some more of the fucking thing, and I'm like, "Yo, this is gonna be awesome." I think that's <laughs> the only way that they would have gotten everybody to accept that Pikachu oh. talks. Is who's the voice? Deadpool. Oh, yeah. fuck! All yeah, right, let's dude. do it. Either that or Chris Rock. I don't know, but <laughs> holy shit, no, dude! People would have been so mad at that. <laughs> I would have loved it. Pikachu, <laughs> Pikachu would have been like. Mr. Mike, can you tell me where he went? I want to know what he did. <laughs> that would have been some good shit. That would have been awesome. Somebody totally need, awesome. Next, needs to make that edit. Fucking okay, 100, uh, 100 Rotten Tomatoes on Rotten Tomatoes. Hell yeah. Certified fresh. <laughs> uh, May 17th. This is going to be cool. John Wick 3, Parabellum. Are you fucking serious? John Wick, Chapter 3, yep. Holy shit, I did not even know that! Yeah, dude, I told you this like a couple episodes. You told me about the third one? Yeah. I told you, I was like, yeah, they're making another John Wick. And even you were like, oh yeah, cool. Which means I thought you already knew, but I guess you didn't know. Fuck. No, I, I don't remember. I Honestly, don't... I think we need to watch both of them, and then we'll go see the other one. Dude, I'm down or to the, watch the it one. at any time. Those are... Literally, John Wick has uh, was like a total dark horse in terms of like favorite movies for me. Where I went in to look at the first or watch the first one with no knowledge, didn't never seen anything about it, came out as a fucking fan, dude. I love that those movies are the best. Yeah, and I think everybody became a John Wick fan after uh, he showed up on Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I I bought the season pass because of that. Yeah. All right, here we go. May twenty fourth. Aladdin. It's going to be the live action remake with Will Smith as the genie. Oh my god. And a Jaffa. Okay, I tweeted this out. 
because the Jafar on there looks he looks like shit <laughs> because the cartoon Jafar mean looking Indian dude right yeah looks like an evil sorcerer he's got you know his 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 uh, cane and he's got his hat you know the hat even looks evil because it's got like the 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 angles and the little jewel in it and shit right right dude this Jafar looks like just some fucker that is on a Broadway play really yes. And Aww. he doesn't look mean. He just looks like he's... I think I even tweeted this out, too. It looks like he's mad that somebody forgot his fucking tzatziki sauce <laughs> for his salad or some shit. But oh what is my. the tzatziki sauce, though? Is it a dressing? Is it a dip? Oh, here oh. we go. Oh, my <laughs> no, God. No, uh, but his costume even looks like the, it's the shits, too. Because it looks like somebody from Broadway made this shit. Like, low-budget Broadway or, or, like, high school play. Like, it looks really bad. <laughs> so I went to look it up. Is it this guy right here? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, that's Mo Mark Gaddafi. No. <laughs> uh, no, I dude. Uh, and I then the fact this. that you got a blue Will Smith. I don't know. I mean, I honestly didn't even know this was a thing. And honestly, when you said live action, it sounds fucking horrible already. I, I'm a, I'm gonna say on record that I was never really a big fan of that movie, anyways. Mm-hmm. Uh, growing up or anything like that, but and it already sounds like uh, basically what I was thinking about the first movie. I'm going to think about the second yeah. one. As well. I mean, it had a cool Super Nintendo game. Wait, play that what? Is this it? <laughs> dude, even that guy's better than, yeah. than the oh other one. Oh my god, dude. That's fucking funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Disney's got this thing up their ass where they got to make all their cartoons live action now because they did it with uh, like Beauty and the Beast. They did it with uh, Cinderella. But see, Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast, I can see. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it, it revolves around a princess. And it's not hard to make a princess look like how she is from a cartoon to real life. Right, I mean, right. they do it at, at Disneyland all the time. Yeah. But to have, you know, a fucking genie, <laughs> a blue guy just dressed up, at, you know, supposed to be a genie. I don't know, dude. Like, I think it's, it's, it's kind of getting too much. But... Oh well. That, well, that's one I won't be see. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna see that. That's for sure. That once again, I'm not a big fan of it, and plenty of like, I'm I don't even like live action shit either. So, well, here's a here's a thing that we'll like and we'll go see. Godzilla, King oh! of Monsters, coming out May 31st. Oh, is that when he fights? What's his name? He's fighting Rodan. He's fighting Mothra, and of course, he's fighting King Ghidorah. Oh. It's a fatal four-way of monsters. How could you not want to see this? First and foremost, fatal four-ways are fucking awesome. Yeah, second I mean, and second a lot most, of times they're a big old cluster, yeah. but, <laughs> but you get some good shit out of it. Well, se- and second and second most, it's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> it's giant monsters. I mean, Pacific Rim is good because it had giant, giant monsters. The second one, I didn't see because everybody told me it was the shits. But, uh, I don't remember if I saw the second one. But Godzilla, the first one, was good. Uh, the Pacific King Rim, Kong the movie was good. really good. Yes, it was. And I guess apparently after this one, they're going to try to uh, make King Kong do a run-in for the Godzilla trilogy. Oh! Which, fuck it, I'm okay with that too. Dude, Godzilla versus King Kong, that's fucking awesome. King Kong, King, 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 King. Oh. Damn, I haven't heard that song in a long time. <laughs> I'm going to listen to that shit on the way home. If you hear me before you see me, I got King Kong in my chair. All right, we're going into June now. <laughs> June 7th. X Men Dark Phoenix. So Dark Phoenix, okay. Oh, that was the one where the chick comes in and she ends up destroying everyone with her mind and stuff like that, right? Yeah, uh she uh it's Jean Grey and she has, you know, telepathic powers and uh she has a dark side to her, which is the Phoenix. And the shitty thing about this is that they already did it in X Men three, the one with uh the original Wolverine. Uh-huh. And Man, I got a feeling that this one's just not going to be good because after they did that whole timeline shit with uh, Days of Future Past, they mixed timelines together. Nobody knows what's going on anymore. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm not even sure which characters are who anymore. Uh, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe they're making another one. And then Disney ends up buying fucking 21st Century Fox or 20th Century Fox, wherever the fuck they are now. <laughs> And that means that this one isn't even going to mean anything because they're probably just going to remake the X-Men into the fucking uh, MCU somehow. And it's going to be even more fucking clustered. I mean, I I don't know what to say besides I I watched the previews. I thought it looked pretty cool. And then I saw um, 
Professor Xavier, and it was some other dude. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Uh, it's the guy from that movie Split. Oh, that's right, that's right, and I had, and that made me hate it. Channing already. Tatum? No, it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this guy's name. He's some English fuck. Dude, Channing Tatum as Doctor X would have been fucking That'd horrible, be funny. but hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> have Jonah Hill as like fucking Wolverine. <laughs> He gets all tired and shit. Yes, dude. See, you guys got your next. Uh, what was that? What was that one? Uh, <laughs> that one movie with all the fucking actors in it, and it was like the end of the world. They redid. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Revelations. Yeah, what was it called like? The end of this the is world? the end. This is the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they should just redo that, but X Men style. That would be awesome. Yeah, and see, the problem with this X Men movie or, or the last one, uh, which was Apocalypse. I think I only went to go see that movie because Jan and I had nothing else to do that day. We're Damn. just like, fuck it, let's go see a movie. Huh. So, yeah, well, I probably won't be able to see this one until I, I either have a fuck it, let's just go moment <laughs> or, uh, hey, it happens to be on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> or it's on TV. I don't even go that far, shit. Yeah. Uh, June 14th. This is a weird one. Men in Black International. So what? this is the fourth installment into Men in Black. Uh, but apparently this one is taking place outside of the Will Smith, uh, circle. Okay. And Thor is the main character. He's the, like, he's not actually Thor, right? He's, no. That'd be funny, though. <laughs> that would be so funny. Killing aliens and shit with lightning. Hey, so um, he's gonna, so, uh, so all of a sudden he's gonna be a guy from uh, Men in Black and then he's gonna be Hulk Hogan? <laughs> Damn, this guy's got range. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he's doing everything. Uh, but yeah, apparently he's going to be this, the, the main guy who's like the, the grizzled vet. And then I guess uh, some girl is coming in and she's going to be like the new Will Smith who's the rookie. I don't, I don't know. know who the girl is. Don't care. I'll, I'll probably go see this. Yeah, same. But uh, I don't have any expectations going in. I mean, and honestly, you probably shouldn't because if you go in with the thought of like, oh, well, the first three were great or the first two were awesome, you know, then you're going to probably yeah. be fucking, you know, uh, sit there in dismay with your uh, yeah. dick in hand. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like I got anything to really complain about. I mean, there's guns, there's aliens, there's shit blowing up, probably. Yep. And there's racism. So probably somewhere. <laughs> well, I think it takes place in like the UK somewhere. So, yeah, probably. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, June 21st has two good movies coming out. Uh, one of them, a remake, Child's Play. Oh. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a remake. It might just be another fucking spinoff. <laughs> probably, probably. But yeah, uh, Chucky's back. Yeah. And he was yeah. also back in Oakland this past year, and he sucked a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> fucking John Gruden. I just told It took me a second there to get that. <laughs> Um, my niece is like completely in love with Chucky and, um, so she, she was telling me, she goes, oh yeah, I can't wait for Chucky to come out. And, uh, she's like, yeah, the, the face is all different now. They showed me, I seen a picture of the face and, or they had, they weren't going to show the face. Like, I guess the trailer is like, it's going to pan to the, to his face and then it doesn't, I guess he's going to have a new face. That's what she said. And then uh, I was like, oh, yeah. So I was like, have you seen the first two or the first uh, few? And she was like, uh, no. And I was like, why not? She's like, well, my dad didn't let me watch them. And I was like, so how are you going to see this next one? Uh, I'll just have my mom take me. She'll take me. I'm like, oh, my God. Problem solver. <laughs> I know. That's what she right? is. She's a problem solver. <laughs> oh, my God. My niece is so funny. Uh, my cousin was deathly afraid of child's play. Uh, back in the day. Really? Yeah. Uh, my cousin Joseph. And uh, my mom had this doll that she uh, grew up with. And she always kept it in like, you know, the... We had an attached garage at that house. Right, so right. So she kept it inside of that garage. And he would never want to go in the garage because he was afraid of that doll. And my mom, <laughs> I guess, scared the shit out of him with that doll whenever he like uh, misbehaved or something like that. So... Dude. Oh, well. Fuck them. Those fucking dolls, man. It's <laughs> scary as hell, especially when you're just, like, walking by and they're just looking at you with big-ass eyes. and Yeah. <sighs> just looking at you like, where are you going? <laughs> Come back and play with me. Dick in hand. D- dick in hand. <laughs> uh, the next one for uh, the 21st is one that I'll probably go see opening day. Okay. Toy Story 4. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah, dude! Toy the first toy, a couple Toy Stories when they were when I was younger. Like, oh my god, I love those movies. Yeah, and the third one, I was really impressed. I was really impressed by the third one, not thinking that 
yeah, I just kind of went in like, man, I don't know if it's going to be as good. It was really good. Yeah. Loved it. And so here's the crazy thing, too, is that I remember last year sometime, uh, Tim Allen, who does the voice for Buzz Lightyear, uh-huh. said that after he got done reading the script, he done. bawled his eyes out. Really? Yeah. So the third one made you cry because you're like, holy shit, these guys are going to die in the incinerator for yeah. the garbage incinerator. Yeah. So what the hell's going to happen in this one that Tim Allen, Tim... The fucking tool man is crying his eyes out. Dude, Buzz dies. Maybe. Maybe Woody dies. Oh, yeah. Maybe Woody dies. Fuck. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Bo Peep is back. Well, good. Maybe. Oh, that. Oh, damn it. That means Woody's dying. Maybe. Unless Sad. he stays there with Bo and says, fuck it. I'm not being a toy anymore. Either that or Buzz ends up taking her and. <laughs> he double crosses Woody. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm taking your bitch <laughs> to infinity and beyond, sucker. <laughs> she ain't gonna be taking your Woody no more. She be taking my spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be taking my uh, my light year, if you know what I mean. <laughs> By the way, light years in real life don't make sense, and Thank neither does much. what we're doing on the show. <laughs> But yeah, totally stoked for that. Didn't didn't even think about uh, that movie. Remember we were talking about it from before? Yeah. Sounds awesome, dude. I can't wait. Yeah, me too. Uh, a week after that is another installment into the Conjuring series. Annabelle comes home. You know, Annabelle the doll. Wow. Yeah. You know, I think, I think my niece, who's uh, like all the way into scary movies and just movies in general, um, she I think I believe she was telling me about that. So... Honestly, I cannot wait for that. That's going to be awesome. I thought Annabelle was pretty fucking good. Um, I, I mean, I don't usually get scared at movies, but if you can get a good scare out of me, then yeah, I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. You know? Um, I think it's going to be good because, I mean, all those movies from the Conjuring series are really good. Yeah. You know, the Insidious, Conjuring, Annabelle, Nun, all that good shit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, and you know it's going to be good because it has the two paranormal investigators in it, uh, Anne and Lorraine Warren. Oh, you know, the, the two main like uh, husband and wife. Yeah. So whenever those two are in it, it's definitely going to be good. Cool. Cool. Um, My cousin sent me the trailer for it because I hadn't seen it yet. Uh-huh. And her and I go see all the scary movies. So we're definitely going to go see this. one. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let me ask you a quick question here. Is there a difference between being scared and startled? Oh, for sure. What is the difference? All right. Well, startle is really easy to answer because, like I said in a previous podcast, uh, which are available in the archives for you to listen to at any time. The good times podcast dot com. That's right. Uh, the difference of being startled and scared is quite simple because startled is where they're walking through the woods or an apple fucking tree. Uh, what do you call it? Orchard. They're just walking during the middle of the day and they hear <laughs> The wind, and they're like, oh, wow, this is so nice. And then the the farmer guy who owns the place just comes out of nowhere. Hey, what are you doing over here? <laughs> and that startles you because it's just a sudden, ah! Okay. Being scared is something that you constantly think about. So, for instance, my cousin Joseph with the fucking doll. <laughs> he saw child's play, and he's constantly thinking, Chucky's scary. Chucky's scary. I don't want a doll to come to life. So when he sees a doll, that thought goes through your head. So basically, uh, uh, being scared is like the thought that goes through your head. Being startled is the sudden instant that it happens. <laughs> the sudden non-thoughts that go through your head. The sudden so, actions that happen. Well, the reason why I asked you that was because, I've, as I've mentioned a few times here about being scared, I don't usually get scared from movies, like scary movies or anything like that. It's like, I don't, I don't really start jumping up. And I remember I've, I've told somebody that before, and then all of a sudden they'll like, they'll like come around the corner. <sighs> And then, like, you know, it's like, oh, shit. Like, like fucking startled the shit out of me. And then, <laughs> so you got scared. So it's like, did I really get scared or did I it's get like, startled? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. So, fuck you, whoever said that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay, so July 5th, uh, we have another Marvel movie coming out. Okay. Spider-Man, Far From Home. Ooh, Spidey. Now, see, the problem, I, okay, I'm definitely going to go see it. Everybody. It's Spider Man. I love Spider Man. <laughs> of course, he's good. He's, good. he's great. He yep. shoots a web out of his ass. Um, <laughs> that's uh, in the bonus features. Uh, the thing is, is they should not have released this movie this year, 
or why is that? Because they're already telling you that Spider Man's gonna live. Ooh. For the people that actually don't look into future movies, uh, and people that do say, "I hate this movie," "I hate this movie," <laughs> after uh, oh, I hate them. Avengers was over. This basically destroys, you know, it, it breaks kayfabe. We'll okay. put it that way. Okay. It breaks kayfabe because it's letting them know, oh, don't worry, Spider-Man's going to come back. Mm. But see, if they wouldn't have released this movie this year, people would be like, man, I wonder if, if anybody's going to even make it out of this thing. <laughs> but see, it, it totally, like, spoils it, which, I mean, you kind of had the instance that, you know, fucking Black Panther and Spider-Man were going to come back anyway, but yeah, you kind of yeah. want that little bit of mystery for the people that, like, are just casual people. Casual viewers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. And I. I can. I can believe to get that there. And that. That kind of. That does kind of fuck it. Kind of fuck it up. And yeah. I, I really don't have too much to say. I love Spider Man. And you know, I used to play a lot of the games when I was younger, especially like on Game Boy and stuff like that. Watched a few of the movies like in the uh, mid two thousands and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I didn't really keep up with it too much uh, nowadays. But honestly, that just means I got to go back and start watching them again because. I, and honestly, with with what I've heard, I wouldn't even know where to start. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently, this one he takes a field trip or something like that. And uh, the only bad guy that I know of is Mysterio. Oh, Ray Mysterio's in there. Cool. Yeah, Ray Mysterio, played by uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> played by Ray Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> played by uh, Oscar Hernandez. <laughs> I played by Umberto Madera. I don't know his name. Madera. <laughs> wait, wait, what is it? Umberto Mendoza. Rio. Carrillo, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Umberto Madero. <laughs> that that's the uh, that's the guy from micro wrestling. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, July nineteenth. Here we go again with Disney trying to do some more live action bullshit. Oh God, The Skip. Lion King. Wait, it was supposed to, it's supposed to be a live action one. It's a live action. Well, CGI because I mean you can't train lions to fucking sing. Yeah, I was. Gonna- <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, yeah, god it's, as, it's about as live action as it's gonna get because you're not gonna have you're not gonna be able to keep a, a lion a boar and a fucking meerkat <laughs> together without somebody getting eaten <laughs> yeah no you're right and I, I think i've seen the trailer for this and it and it looks pretty good so i'm kind of kind of excited for it i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and say like oh yeah i can't wait for it because i'm i'm not really all that excited but i know that when it'll when it does come out I think I think my sisters is are gonna be like Chris. We're gonna go see the Lion King on Tuesday at did 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 did. You gotta come with us did 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 did. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'll yeah. go see it. Um, I think this is around the same thing as Aladdin for me. It's like I like the cartoon one. Don't really <laughs> think I need to see this one. I like the guy, but he lost. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the only reason I'll probably see this is maybe because my niece and nephew watch it. That's <laughs> that's really the only instance I could think of. I mean, it would. It makes a lot of sense to be completely honest. Of course, anything for the kids. Uh, for the kids. August second. Uh, just on just based on the name of this movie, I don't know what it is. Uh, it says Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Is that Dora the Explorer? Oh my God! I hope not. Holy shit! I think it is. Oh my God. Holy shit, it is. Oh, my goodness. Is it like, is she now, is she like 21 as a prostitute or something? Or No, she just looks like a 18-year-old girl or something. Wow. Uh, let's see. Paramount debuted the first official trailer for Dora and the Lost City of Gold, the live-action Dora the Explorer movie that's hitting theaters this summer. Young actress Isabella Moner. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder she became an actress. What? She probably got made fun of in school. Isabella Moner. She takes on the iconic role of Dora with the short hair and backpack. Uh, her first big adventure is high school. Like I said, see, she got made fun of in high school. Oh, my uh, God. But, of course, she ends up in the jungle on a real adventure to save her parents. <laughs> huh. Played by Ava Longoria and Michael Pena. Oh, Ava Longoria's in there. I'm watching. Hell, yeah. And not for the movie, either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds absolutely shitty, but at the end of the day... um. I don't know if I would end up. I don't know if I'm gonna end up watching that at all. It would. It would have to be somebody's like, "Hey, do you want to come to the movies?" And then I show up, and then I'm like, "Oh shit, we're watching Dora." Well, the only thing. Um, okay, well, we talked about Disney doing all their live action stuff. This one's a Nickelodeon one. 
Ooh, Nickelodeon, uh, huh? Yeah. Uh, and the crazy thing is, is like I'm looking at the 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 poster for it. There's two posters. One of them is Dora. It's it's a it's a from behind the pic uh, behind her picture, uh, looking at like a city of gold or something like that. You know, like El Dorado or something. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, she's got her purple backpack on, and she's got boots sitting on her shoulder. Boots. Uh, but boots ain't wearing no boots. <laughs> What the fuck is he wearing then? Well, it's a she, but it's just wearing regular fucking monkey stuff. Just naked hair. <laughs> naked monkeys. And then the second trailer is her holding a map, which better sing. Uh, <laughs> it shows the backpack in color, and the backpack doesn't have a face on it, and it doesn't say yum, 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 delicioso. <laughs> uh, and then there's also a picture of boots. With boots? No boots. <laughs> so, boots? I like your boots. So, I don't know what to expect from it, but, I mean, if it's on Netflix, I'll take a peek. <laughs> no, I I would agree. If if it's on Netflix, I may watch it, but honestly, out of sight, out of mind at the end of the day for me. Shit. Uh, oh, no. Uh, August 2nd. Here's another one that I, I probably won't go see. Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Oh. So, The Rock pissed off Vin Diesel so much that... The Rock said, fuck you, I'm going to make a spinoff of your movie. <laughs> uh, and he made Hobbs and Shaw. And let me just tell you, I hate Jason Statham. <laughs> Why do so many people hate him? I didn't like him in any of his movies, because they all had one fucking word, like Surge or or <laughs> Driver or some bullshit Come like on, that. what about if he was The Urge? The Urge? <laughs> That's taken. <laughs> uh, what if he came out as that guy? <laughs> Oh, God, I need even more because that's something I actually like. (laughs) Uh, I don't know what to expect from this. All of Rock's movies are becoming the same now. He's wearing uh, work pants, combat (laughs) boots, and a tight blue shirt. That's true. Full of baby oil. Uh, His head's always sweaty. (laughs) <laughs> and uh he's gonna there's gonna be an explosion where or a part where he comes uh running in and he does his whole big old chest breathing thing oh yeah he's, yep. <sighs> he's just gonna breathe really hard uh yeah i don't know i'm i'm i'm, I'm kind of losing steam on the rock too because yeah, all his that's, shit's the same that's what i sound like when i just walk to the bathroom and come back <laughs> or go upstairs <laughs> No, when I go upstairs, I'm like, uh, 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 I'm wheezing. <laughs> but yeah, dude, uh, no, I, I don't know what to expect from this because I don't expect to see it. <laughs> yeah, I got, I honestly got nothing on that. And yeah, it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, not really. Uh, <laughs> I was facetiously saying that. August 16th. We're coming down to August already. Ooh. August 16th. Uh, 47 meters down, uncaged. What is that? So, did you ever see the other 47 meters down? I don't even see the 46 meters down. Uh, these girls are, uh, going diving. Or, sorry, they're in vacation, and they end up going, uh, deep sea diving with these dudes that they just met in Mexico. Oh, of course. And they're Mexican. And, uh, they go into a shark cage, and, you know, the sharks are swimming around them, and, you know, they're... Getting all scared, like, oh my god, this is so cool, but what, yeah, if, yeah. what if something happens to the cage? And then bam! The cage <laughs> the breaks. The cage blows up. Brian the motor, cage shows the motor up. for the No, seriously, the motor for the fucking cage breaks. What? And it sends them all the way down. Oh my god. Yeah. And they have air tanks on, but they only have certain air left. What? A certain amount of air left, sorry. Oh my god. So yeah, and then there's sharks all the way down there, and yeah, it it was pretty good. Honestly, for a budget movie, it was really good. Honestly, it I didn't see the first one and I know why. Um cuz you don't like sharks. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm like deathly afraid of going too far underwater. When I was like 6, I no, 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 sorry. I was like 6, probably like 7 or 8. Um I was on this like shark floaty at at uh one of my cousin's pools and everyone's out there just chilling. And I'm on this little shark floaty, just like pushing off, like I'm I'm laying on it, and I'm just pushing off the sides and just you know just kind of floating around. And then I went to push off of it, and I flipped over. Oh! And I remember just, dude, I literally all I remember was just looking up, uh, at at like the sun as it came into the into the water, and uh-huh. I was like, well, I'm fucking dead. I got you know, I'm not. I don't know how to fucking 
you know, swim or anything. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, like, coming back from this. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, it's something just swooped me up. And it was, it was my, um, my older cousin. And, uh, yeah, he ended up swooping me up. And then for some reason, ever since then, I've always been scared of going too far underwater. Like, I've had, I've had dreams where, I would like I would be like on top of this bridge and I'd jump in the water like I'm like yeah this is fucking cool and then all of a sudden like I'm like oh shit I'm too far underwater and I can't get up and I wake up like oh fuck yeah <laughs> terrible terrible I don't know if I'll end up seeing that I'll get anxiety or some shit in the middle <laughs> <laughs> yeah you probably would uh and then the last one on our list uh this will wrap up August August 16th Angry Birds movie number 2 the what? The Angry Birds movie number oh, two. Oh, Angry Birds! There's a first one. There was a hit movie, Angry Birds. It was a hit movie. Obviously enough to make a number two. Son of a. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's, there's a lot of Angry Birds. There's still pigs out there, and they're still playing. I guess. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know it, that movie did that good enough to make a second one. Yeah. Ha, oh, dude. What the fuck? I didn't even know the first one even existed. Yeah. Um, I've seen it listed somewhere, maybe Netflix or Vudu or something. But yeah, I've seen it listed, so huh. it's somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that wraps up our uh, summer movie preview. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you <laughs> are going to decide to see any of the movies based <laughs> off our based off of our. Uh, exciting review <laughs> <laughs> honestly they're um the first the first like couple months it, it sounds fucking awesome and then it just kind of just drops off yeah as soon as hobbs and shaw show up no. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah but, yeah i, I don't, don't know, know. It, it'll be good uh when the avengers show up and then maybe spider-man Spidey. will save it but i don't know there seems to be plenty of pretty good movies uh worth in, worth watching in in the theaters for sure but I like that bot. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd end up going. To, I, I, honestly, I will say I'll probably end up seeing like two out of that whole thing that we just said. For yeah, sure. I think I'm good too, for sure. Uh, Toy and, Story and Avengers. Yeah, I was going to say, sure. I was gonna say, yeah, sure I was gonna say Toy Story me. and Avengers. But then three for sure with Spider-Man. So Okay. And then, hey, man, if you want, we'll make it four for sure. We'll go see John Wick. Hey. Oh, yeah. Fucking John Wick. I keep forgetting about John Wick for fuck's sake. <laughs> that is number three for yeah. me. All for right. sure. Seeing yeah, John fuck Wick. It. Well, three. we got a couple movies to watch. And... Yeah, damn right. Well, I think we're ready to wrap up here. So, uh, Mr. Executioner, where can they find you on the social stuff? Don't be silly. Wrap your willy. <laughs> um, <laughs> first and foremost, I'd just like to thank Yeshua for allowing me to do this. And with that being said, you can go ahead and find me on my Twitter at the executioner, T H E X E K U T H E N E R, or you can find me on Instagram at the underscore herbolutioner, T H E underscore H E R B A Lutioner, or hit me up on uh, Facebook. Sorry, uh, Chris Clips Hernandez, C L Y P S E is the clips. Easy there to find me. Uh, and you also give out your Snapchat. So if you want to hit me up on my Snapchat, you can just go to D A T D U D E 1215 dat dude 1215. What about you, Jack? Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat all at the same thing B S A L S A N C H E Z because it's as easy as that. Uh, yeah, add me on there. Uh, let's talk about the show. Uh, we'll talk about ideas and good stuff. Get up, get uh, up. Make sure to follow our uh, official Twitter for the show uh, at It's Good Times. And don't forget to follow our new Instagram, new ish Instagram, uh, <laughs> at The Good Times Podcast Com because they wouldn't let us add the dot. No, they and- wouldn't, bastards. And uh, yeah, let's get that uh, let's get that uh, followers up. Uh, how about this? If we get to a hundred followers, um, oh, I got it. Uh, you'll get a, an official Good Times podcast sticker. Ooh! Uh, so the hundredth fr- follower. Yeah, hundred 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 uh, hundred through one hundred five. Okay. And if, it, and if it's be- and uh, for the people that uh, that gave it to them, uh, if they referred, uh, they'll get a sticker too. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So, uh, awesome. yeah, when we reach 100 followers, uh, we'll be passing out some uh, Good Times podcast stickers. Dude, those are going to be fucking awesome. That's right. And then, um, 
yeah, I think that's it. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow us. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Uh, that way you can get it anytime you want. Don't forget to listen to old episodes of the show. Uh, we're already 11 deep. So uh, 11 if you, deep. If you man. tell somebody to uh, <laughs> 11 deep. <laughs> <laughs> so if you uh, tell somebody to uh, listen to the show, make sure you tell them to listen to our old shows too, because they're that good and they're worth listening to again. Damn right. Like and, me, South, or excuse me, Almanac Jackson. Almanac Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> like Almanac Jackson's. Tell a friend. Tell a foe. Tell, tell a pimp, pimp tell a ho. <laughs> That's right. And uh, tune in next week where we'll have another jam-packed, packed, picked, licked, licked picked. and dicked episode of Good, Good Times. Time. Good music in tonight.